Alex K. Starr, 2025, says, you're wrong about granular iron, period. Whenever someone says that, <clears throat> you know immediately that they don't have many critical thinking skills because, period, I'm 100% um, confident. Unless somebody has solved the problem of hard solipsism, I can't be 100% certain of anything. I can't prove that this isn't a dream. No one's been able to prove that yet. So when someone says, you're wrong, period, okay, well, let's back up. Okay. They're probably pretty closed minded. They probably don't know how to understand, read the evidence. So when I read that, I'm like, oh, here we go. This is going to be interesting. He says, I fertilize all year, every year. In the summer, I use iron to avoid pushing growth since my Kentucky bluegrass rye lawn is already super stressed. And that is the time my grass has absolutely the darkest, bluest green color all year. It doesn't last though. Greens up dark green and look like three to five days, but after two mows, it's almost completely gone. Not worth doing, but it's 100% from the ironite and not the 1% nitrogen, which is laughable to every other nitrogen application I make all year. Test it yourself anytime, any week. It is repeatable, verifiable, and very real. <laughs> I love that. That's great. But what I did say was that the iron in ironite is, is useless for turf grass. You're not going to see any response to that. And what I wanted to point out to uh, Alex K. Stark, because apparently he's a scientist because he says, test it anytime, any week and verify it repeatable. So apparently he's published a lot on iron. Um, so it's very, very interesting. I, I encourage Alex K. Star, who might be listening to this, uh, send me your publications. I would love to read your publications on iron solubility and iron uptake and the turf grass response to iron in the field or in, i'll even take the greenhouse whatever you've published on i would love to see that uh, my email is travis shaddocks at gmail.com send that to me until you send that to me i'm gonna i'm gonna go with what i'm aware of okay i'm aware of this article that says st austin grass quality and nutrient content in response to granular and foliar iron manganese and magnesium i've known this author almost my entire life his name's travis shaddocks followed by dr john j brian unruh natasha Restucia. okay in this article, you can read all the way through here, evidence suggests that granular iron does not improve turf grass quality or tissue iron concentrations and can therefore be removed from St. Augustine grass nutritional programs without concern or repercussions. So feel free to read my article and then compare it against the articles that you, you published and see where they differ. Um, but this study was conducted on turf grass, on St. Augustine grass with granular and foliar iron. And we saw nothing from, I'm sorry, the authors saw nothing from granular iron and saw a response from foliar iron. Some other authors did another paper. This, this particular paper is called The Solubility of 10 Iron Fertilizers in 11 North American Soils. And again, this first author sounds familiar. His name's Travis Shaddix. There's eight or nine or 10 different iron sources in here. And we solubilized those, or I'm sorry, the author solubilized those in the soil to see which ones were actually remain soluble. And let's read and see what the end of the abstract says. It says, in each soil, one after application, greater than 95% of applied iron was rendered insoluble from sulfate, glucoheptanate, polysaccharide, humate, and oxide. Right here. Now, in, in, in ironite, they're going to have iron oxide iron, and iron sulfate. And what it basically says is, depending on the pH, the, even, the P, the, even the chelates, unless you're using EDDHA, are going to eventually oxidize. So that, that's another article that I would like to talk to uh, Alex K. Starr about because um, I'm, I've looked at the literature. I didn't see Alex K. Starr as an author on any iron or turf grass papers, but I, I may have missed it. But when I did search for iron again, I found another article and it says solubility of iron, magnesium, manganese and magnesium sulfates and glucoheptanates in two alkaline soils. And again, it seems here could be wrong, but it seems like, again, I know this author, Travis W. Shaddix, J. Brian Unruh, Jason Cruz and Natasha Restucia, soil applications of iron as sulfate or glucoheptanate should be avoided because there was no solubility in either one of these soils after about an hour or so there was, I mean, at one hour, there was no further any solubility. It actually is about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. So I really enjoy um, reading articles, Alex. As as you can tell, I read a lot of articles and this is what this channel is about. And you mentioned in your, in your comment here, test it yourself. Well, I did. And what I would ask you is clearly you've tested it yourself because you said that you see a response and you say that you see um, the dark green, you know, last, last three to five days, and it's 100% from the ironite. The iron in the ironite, which was my comment, the iron, ironite has nitrogen, it has sulfate in there as well, which are known to induce turf grass responses. The iron in ironite, which is what I said, is going to be agronomically of no value. So 
You've tested it, clearly. Send it to me, travisshaddix at gmail.com, or you can call the show 859-444-4234 and put it on that voicemail as well. I'd love to hear it. <laughs>